hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you are old here thanks so much for coming back again so in this video i'm going to show you how to design a bridal makeup and beauty salon banner design in photoshop so without further ado let's get into photoshop okay so here we are in photoshop and the first thing that we're going to do is create a new document so we go to file a new and then we're going to create a document of 36 by 18 inches i already have the sizes set up to inches and it is 36 and then 18 and because i don't want the size to be that bigger i'm going to use 100 resolution but you can change it if you want to print it out so you click ok when you are done so after clicking ok you should have something like this and then we can go ahead to put whatever that we want to put on this particular documents that we have over here so first we're going to add a gradient overlay so we go to the overlay and then the gradients i've already set my gradients over here but you can choose you can see the colors from here so these are the colors that i used 60 650 000, and then this particular color over here f60b42 so you can set the colors over here afterwards you don't change anything from here the style is linear and everything is the same way and you click ok when you're done so first of all we're going to add some some rectangles and then rounded rectangles to aid us in creating this particular banner so we first of all choose the rounded rectangle over here and draw a rounded rectangle around this place it shouldn't be all that big but anyhow you might choose to do it so you change the color to white and then you can just leave it like that because you'll be using it later on so you can try to fix it like you try to adjust it small like that so that it will look nice let me do it this way i think this is okay and then you push it somewhere here. so we're going to make use of this particular one so maybe for for the meantime we're not going to bother ourselves with it so next i'm going to add some couple of other rounded rectangles so i'll select the rounded rectangle and draw another one over here let's say something like this and then i'll go ahead and make a duplicate of those ones so i'll make two more or three more duplicates of it and then bring it somewhere around here so afterwards all that i'm going to do is I'm going to select the rest of it and then try to adjust it to fit the size of the banner. You see, so it, it will be something like this, right? And then we have it very nice and neatly placed over here. So next, I'm going to group this one and call it, um, let's say, sub um, rectangles. Okay. And then I'm going to select the rectangle tool over here and then I'm going to draw a nice rectangle a very small one you can use the line stuff to do but I prefer using the rectangle because it is quite bold than that one so I'll make a duplicate and bring it over here too so it will be like this and I think this is okay. so we move on to the next thing and we're going to give this whole thing a name also we choose the test tool over here and we're going to make use of just one font a vertical insert and then if, first of all the color will be white so i'll click over here and give it a name let's say the heavenly and then i can transform it to be bigger like this and place it over here so it goes like that right so like this and then i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and command j if you're using a mac and i'll edit that one to let me decrease the size more so it will it will be like makeup and brighter home i don't know if i'm right but I think this is just a tutorial, so probably I'm right. 
So I'm going to give it a color, something yellowish over here. Let's go up, up, up. I think here we do. And then I'll take it up over here and try to increase it small like that. So it reads the heavenly makeup and brighter home, right? So we go ahead and add some small shadows to this one. So you drop a little shadow, okay. And then you do the same thing to the heavenly. So it is as simple as that. And then this one, since it is bigger, we can increase it slightly like that. So afterwards, you can just take your time to position it or bring it down anywhere you want it. I think this will be cute and that's all. Right, so next I'm going to um, add some images to this one. In the beginning, I told you that we're going to make use of this particular rounded rectangle that we've created. So we shouldn't bother ourselves. So we, we select it back and then we go to file and then place and I have some couple of images that I'm going to make use of. So this is a picture of Jackie Appiah. So I'll double click on it to open it up and push it somewhere around here. So I'll press Ctrl T and then transform it to fill the whole of the rectangle. And since we have some part of the rectangle outside of it, we're going to right click and rasterize the layer. And then we click again and create a clip masking. So it will fit into the rounded rectangle that we've created so you open it up more like this so that it fits very neatly into i chose this particular picture because she's just looking adorable and she's just like a bride so i think this matches with the topic a brighter home and stuff all right so next we we're going to add some couple of um, images over here but then i would like to make some few changes to this particular i intentionally did that i'll press ctrl t to decrease the size of this particular rectangle rounded rectangle and place it around here make a couple of duplicates like that so i'll select the two and then close it up small like this right so I have it over here and then I'll make it another duplicate and bring it over here. So I think here looks good. And we select the whole of the four. Sorry. So I'll select the whole of the four rectangles that I just edited and then bring it over here. So we can just push these ones to this side. Like that. And then the last four, I think we are just going to select them and then bring it somewhere around here. So I think this looks cute. So we're going to add a couple of images to these particular rectangles, all of these rectangles. And we're going to do that following the step that we did in using this one. So I'm going to do about two of them and I'll fast forward and catch you when I'm done. So first of all, you select the sub rectangle that you want to add the image to. So this is the first one. If you hide it, you can see that this is the one that we are working on. And then whilst this one is selected, you go to file and then place. And the image that you want to select first, you just select it. So if I want to select this image, I select and then click on place. And then since it is bigger than the rectangle, it is automatically going to fill it up. But we right click and rasterize. And then we right click again and create a clip masking. So you press Ctrl T to make sure that it is or it fits to the rectangle as you want it so you can adjust it more again like that right so it fits just perfectly and then you can add a couple of adjustments let's say levels and then some saturation or curves any other thing that you want to so that it can be bright enough for people to see so if you want to work on the second one you just select that one to go to file and then place and then you can place the second one so this is the second image that i want to place and then i'm going to rasterize um create clip masking and then i'm going to close it up like transform it so that it looks quite cute in the rectangle and then i'm going to add some few adjustments to it 
let's say like this so i'm going to fast forward this area and catch you when i'm done filling all the other rectangles with the images stay tuned And so here we are that I've filled all my rectangles with my adorable black looking ladies over here except the one in the middle of course she's so cute and so the final thing that I'm going to do is make a duplicate of this bridal home and then I'm going to get rid of the layer style so that it looks simple and then I'm going to change it to something like contacts or let's say yes yeah, something like that so you place your contact over here so that if somebody wants to contact you probably the person can contact you so contacts and then i'm going to use my own contacts all right so next we're going to transform it slightly like this and then it looks very simple like that all right so let's try to change um the headings or let's say the headings here yeah, to something yellowish like that in the heading and then we change this one to to something yellowish and from here you can just add anything that you would want to maybe this area you want to add something like um let's say a rounded rectangle but you want this stroke to be whitish it's a white over here and then you want it to be in dots right and the fill you're going to set that one to nail zero so you draw a rounded a nice rounded rectangle around this one and then it will fill with dotted lines for you so if you check it out it looks very simple like this so you can try to position this somewhere around here very neatly like that and this one of course you can make some few adjustments to it and anything that you would like to do to the banner will be at your own take so this is in my simple opinion how to design a very nice eye catchy this is very eye catching and the colors are very appealing everybody can see it the sentence can be read from any angle so you can try this if you have a saloon or something like that you can try this and then afterwards you can save it and go and print it at any printing press thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave any comments that you want to leave in the comment section below i'll try as much as possible to answer all of them and please don't forget to check out other videos of mine till the next video i'll catch you again innocent here bye